Evening all, welcome back to Space Engineers, and as a meteor storm is coming, I'm just going to turn the top of my, oh yeah, mighty vessel to uh, to shoot the rocks. Now, interesting, oh god, interestingly enough, there's a bit of a challenge going on at the moment with this, uh, with this mighty flagship, in that, I think, I am slowly running out of ammo. No, oh, no, 114. I guess that's not bad. Yeah, 12. As you can see, ammo is becoming a bit of a thing. I can't even build anymore because I don't need. I don't have magnesium. So that's pretty much our mission today. Where? Oh, where? In this vast, infinite void, am I going to find magnesium? Is the question. Um, I keep losing my ships. Um, Dave the drone keeps buggering off. I don't know what he's doing. And if he, if I lose him again, so be it. But. I need magnesium, so I think we're just going to go to the nearest asteroid. So let's just pick the donut over there, and let's go see what it's got. Um, lots more stuff apparently being deployed in the game, programmable blocks. I don't know. I don't even know how anybody could even work such magic and wizardry as programmable blocks. I don't know. It looks exciting. It looks very, very cool. I wouldn't even know where to begin. <laughs> with uh with producing that so we're not going to bother with that for the moment um there's lots of things actually i should be kind of experimenting with but again i find i'm just trying to get myself on um well off my ass and you know everything like needs to be like armed so i need more guns i need better guns oh have i lost dave again yep oh well bye dave bye i'm not going to come get you this time or can i i probably could actually let me just Nope, he's out of range, so sod it, he's gone. Oh, this is, I'm getting back to where I was not, uh, you know, almost a year ago with this game, which is, um, it's frustrating as hell when your your devices, look at that, it's buckling the hull. Oh, flipping heck. Um, okay, so it's lost. So you see the miner there has already just lost something as well. It's so frustrating when this happens. Um, I don't know. We'll have we'll just we'll try and figure out the damage later. It bothers the hell out of me because you know that's one of the key things they need to really fix is to sort that out. I might it may be me. I mean, post in the comments. I can see that it's retros are on, but how do you then switch that ship off without it then not connecting to your ship? You know what I mean? Do I need to just pin it to the ship? Do I need to just literally put it with landing gear like I've done with these? These seem all right, and I've switched and pad them off. Maybe that's it. I don't know. I need to figure it out um, because it's driving me slightly insane at the moment. Right, retro's on. Let's just hope that half the ship doesn't come apart at the seams. Capping. Oh, flipping. Bloody flippy flip flipper. Drives me slightly insane. And I think that's causing trouble. Whenever I do an angular momentum like this, this is probably what's causing more issue. Oh well. We'll figure it out. The miner is broken, it's damaged, but I think we can probably do something with it. Um, it's damaged the bottom of the hull as well, so very frustrating. But I think for now, let's just park it here. We've got our good guns looking at the... I'm just going to turn it slightly. There we go. And there we go. Let's go and have a look at the damage to the miner. And let's go mine. Um, sad that I've lost Dave the drone, but, you know, I can't, I can't keep herding drones. It is like herding kittens. Um, or slightly harder <laughs> but my miner is actually the key one I do want to well I need this because I need to mine and look at the damage it's caused flipping heck so yeah that's quite annoying um, I've lost the cargo can is it the cargo can yeah so I've lost the medium cargo can now can I just install one so medium can of the cargo and I'm trying to remember which way it goes like that, I think. Yeah, like that. Again, frustrating, annoying, very annoying. Okay, thank God I've got the components on me. That's good. Just going to repair everything, I think. Oh, I'm missing engines, I can see it. I'm missing quite a lot, but uh, that's for now, let's just repair what we can. And I think we will just try, we'll use the connector, so I might even take the connector off and just get it so it docks. In fact, let's do that now. Let's get it so it connects, and then, so we'll take this off as well, and then what we'll do, six, 
is, uh, let me just get that the right way around. I think that's the right way around. That is the right way around. And we'll just get it so that you can dump the rock and then just clamp the vessel on and switch the flipping engines off. I think that's, oh, that's gonna be the way it's gonna be. Oh, any conveyors. Oh, joy. Um, mini conveyors, there we go. Um, I need the angled one as well. Is that the programmable block? Now we will have a look at it, but don't expect me to be clevs or anything. I, I am an idiot in all senses. And I'm sure it's far beyond me. Oh, okay, that needs to be that needs to be a connecting block. Yeah, that's gonna be a problem. There we go. And we do a mini connector block, which are Oh, is it conveyor? It's conveyor. I apologize, good sirs, it's a conveyor. Uh, oh, I thought it was. No, maybe not. Um, <clears throat> have I got the wrong one? Uh, do, 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 do. It's been a while. There we go. Small conveyor. I didn't even know it was a separate block, but now I do. Interior plate. Always the way. Let's just see what we need. So it looks like it's just interior plates. It's fine. Just fine. So now that's red. Why is that red? Is there no... Hmm, okay, there's no uranium in there. How's this thing powered then? Where's its other oh, okay, it's got another <laughs> it's got another reactor there. Fair enough. Yeah, I don't uh okay. I'm not <coughs> I'm not entirely sure how this is powered. Um now I thought that I could come here. Yes I can. Awesome! Let's just take I think if we go to the ass. Sorry, obvious joke. Uh let's just do some of them. I do like that you can quickly access stuff. I think that makes a lot of sense. Right, so we've, oh, hang on. So it looks like it's broken up there as well. Man, I'm just so sick of fixing these flipping things. I think we've lost our AI drone block. Oh no, there we go. That's it there. Um, beacon, that's what we lost. We lost the antennae. Let's just put that back on. Oops, wrong one. Bing, there we go. So, in theory, that should be ready to go mine. So I'm just gonna get in it and go, oops, and just raise it up slightly. So what we'll do now is we'll put landing gear on it. I know we're gonna lose the sleek nature of it, but I need it to clamp to the ship, you see. So I don't really have a number of options there. Um, where to put the <laughs> where to put them there? That's the problem. Well, let's put one there. God, this game is incredibly therapeutic. I don't know if, don't know if you actually play this game. A lot of people, I imagine, watch these videos but actually don't play this game. Um, can't imagine too many actually. But anyway, um, this game has got to be the most therapeutic game you could ever play um, because it does. Oh, hello. Oh, I thought it was being fired on that, but it does give you a wonderful therapeutic. Um, exchange is what I'd look the word I'd look for. Okay, so we've got another landing gear here. I will give it four because that way then it will be absolutely clamped to the thingy jig. And I'm just gonna shave that. Oh god, what did I just break then? There we go. Right, so if I put a block like that and a block like that, it's not the prettiest, but function over form. I'm just worried that something will ping off if I do this. I'm just going to make it nippy. There we go. Right, so let's just put our forward gears of the landing on. Boosh. Nice. Right, so let me just weld all this into place. So in theory, when I now use this, and I'll probably use... I'll, I could turn it into a drone, but just not yet. I think for now, I just want to make sure that <laughs> it's kind of working. So... Let's take it for a spin. Okay, so we are looking for magnesium as I look around. It's looking good. Okay, so I'm just gonna go to third party, third person view, sorry. Um, the bottom of the ship is looking pretty good actually. Um, I did fit an antenna, but it doesn't really matter. So that's good. I guess those legs kind of stick out, but look, it, it doesn't matter. All I need is magnesium. So I can build just a butt ton of ammo. That is an actual measurement, butt ton. Um, 
and then I won't feel too exposed because I think at the moment is my guns are running low and I think if I lose those guns the meteorites are just going to blow me to pieces over time you know and I could be continuing to repair everything this is a beautiful <coughs> excuse me it's a beautiful asteroid I love that it's Varanas um, but again I'm not I'm not seeing anything but iron it could just be an iron donut an iron space donut with a hole in it uh, iron again yeah I think we're gonna have to dock and move on I don't think this has what I'm looking for so let's just head back I mean can I actually do something let me have a look at the ore detector I think it does have a range no oh well whoops a daisy let me just uh, figure out what I'm doing <laughs> just switched on my drills on toggle block on off do I really have to do it the other way toggle block on off wow I really do there we go yep so ugh. slightly fiddly slightly annoying we've only got one engine point forward as well just realized that need to build another one of them <coughs> in fact do I have any retros I've got one retro Jeez, that's not good oh, this is turning into a bit of a challenge to get magnesium and it's like I'm not too sure what more I can do well I think let's just clamp onto the ship try not to smash into it don't want to cause any more damage if I can avoid it whoops a daisy there we go right so lock and then Y to power it off oh I can't do that because then the clothes won't work oh no maybe they will there so that in theory is locked on I think anyway we'll try. <laughs> we're about to find out so let's go into into hyperdrive or whatever you call it again impulse mode full and oh so I need to just sort this out this ship is good but it needs a bit of work right so let's just keep our eye on the miner as we speed up so full power forward miner looks fine so that's good in a way so I know that yeah we know what we're doing wrong now but oh we need magnesium and I don't know where we're gonna get some from I can see some form of, of rock over there again everything I think is a ship always turns out not to be so let's just go and see what's over there again the miner looks like it's locked on again that but that looks like it's the thing just don't use connector blocks to be your general thruster, no, your general docking ports. For stations, probably fine, but I think for moving ships like this, nope, you need to lock it to the hull. Okay, so full power. There we go. So my hopes and dreams are on these cluster of rocks over here. Now in the distance, I can see there's an awful lot of of debris. In fact, there's a vessel there, and I even think it's moving. That's got to be because it's what is yellow. Then again, every time I say this, it turns out to be a rock. Let's go and have a look. Again, that one to the right looks too perfect. But again, I've been fooled with these things before, so. I've yet to find stations. I don't know if anybody's found stations. If you have, post in the comments. It'd be interesting to read what you've found. But there is definitely some orange buggy thing here. So let's go and see what that is. If it's man-made, we can actually just feed it into our grinder for the parts. Which would be spiffing. Do you know what? That does look like a rock, actually. <laughs> yeah, it's a rock. It looks like a gold rock at that. Let's get a bit closer. And again, I'm looking for blue. When you're looking for magnesium, it's a bluish tint. Uh, and I'm seeing there that's potentially gold. Oh, uh, yeah, it's gold, actually, that. So let's go and have a look at that. That's kind of interesting to me because it looks like it's a mixture of... Let's turn the dampeners on. It's a really small rock. Not used to seeing rocks that small. 
let's just again the ship's sort of doing a handbrake turn at the moment oh it is a big ship but i do love it makes me happy right so that is our target there you see basically we're closing on it it's actually really small so it might be quite suitable because at least we could scan it with confidence let's get a bit closer again it looks like there's gold again all power to oh god it, we are very close to it now there we go look at the look at the shadow isn't that gorgeous there we go we've ended up right next to this so that is gorgeous i'm gonna go and have a look at that with my spacesuit so i'm actually gonna walk out the ship and get in and go and have a look risky because we are i am playing an iron man style mode but i probably should make a gatling gun or whatever a gun but Look at that. Oh, this game is beautiful. It really is. Um, I'm seeing iron, gold, nickel, uh, but no blue hinting at magnesium. So we may just, oh, hello, the silver there. Either that is the sun. Uh, could be the sun, actually. Yeah, it could be the sun. Could be a bit of silver there. I'm not sure. But I would say that is, oh, look at that. Isn't that, look at that as a vista. I mean, come on, any, any, any game that allows you to kind of look from an asteroid at your flagship. That is pretty special, is it not? I think that is awesome. Um, I like that. I think that is, that's really blows my mind. Blows my mind that is because it just is a very, I don't know, that, that is not scripted. It's just completely emergent. This hollow asteroid filled, <laughs> filled with gold. And then my flagship just sat ready to, you know, to kind of use it. I, I love it. I think it's such a good game. All right. So we've looked at that one. Um, yeah, I'm not sure where we're going to find magnesium. So I think we'll cut there. Join us next time as we go and carry on looking for magnesium. And we'll actually look at some of the blocks next time. I promise. Hope you enjoyed that. See you next time.